Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Star Wars Tales of the Jedi. Today we are reacting to episode 5, Practice Makes Perfect. And I am really looking forward to this episode because we finally got ourselves another Ahsoka episode. The past three episodes have been uh, heavily focused around Count Dooku and they have been absolutely fantastic. Seeing, you know, some of his backstory, you know, showing what it was that really kind of started his own fall and really even seeing the fact that even during um, the events of the Phantom Menace, he was already working with uh, Palpatine, aka Darth Sidious, and boy, I tell you what, that really changes a lot. And then also seeing that he was the one behind, um, you know, wiping out Kamino from the um, from the Jedi uh, Temple records, you know, and putting Obi Wan on that wild goose chase in uh, Attack of the Clones. So it has this series, this whole series has been absolutely fantastic. I've been loving seeing the backstories on um, Count Dooku and even seeing uh, how it was first discovered that Ahsoka, um, you know, was strong with the Force and that she was had used it at such a young age. So um, the only thing I really wish I would have been able to see is uh, how did her discovery by the Jedi Council come about. Maybe it's something that will be explained in this. I don't know. Even if it's not, I don't think I'm going to be too disappointed because, like I said, so far this has been an absolutely fantastic series. All the backstories we've been getting, seeing just some other things that have been going on. Like I said, last episode in episode four, it's I still haven't even fully recovered from that one. That one was a lot of info to take in, seeing just really how much Count Dooku had his hands in a lot of what was going on to bring about the Clone Wars and everything, you know, and the fa again, the fact that he was even working with Darth Sidious during the timeline of the Phantom Menace, which really kind of makes Qui-Gon's death that much more heartbreaking because in a way you almost feel like Count Dooku had a hand in that, even though you could clearly tell he was not happy about Qui-Gon um, you know, being killed by Darth Maul. I don't know what he, th I don't know why he thought Qui-Gon would have possibly joined them, but that's a whole nother story for another time. Um, very anxious to see what we got here for Ahsoka. Really looking forward to that one. It's actually really good timing, especially considering that, uh, you know, we only got ourselves just a few more weeks before the Ahsoka TV show comes out, which I am really looking forward to. And yes, when that comes out, I will be reacting to that. That is a for sure definite thing you can count on that whenever it comes out but um either which way we're gonna go ahead and get started with this we'll see what they have in store for us here uh this will be available on disney plus and if you are um in my docs crew patreon you can um join in on the watch along as long as you got a copy of this yourself you can uh have me on one tab you can have this on another tab and then you can um, watch the show while I'm watching reacting you can use the timer on the screen as a guide to where I'm at in the show so you can be exactly where I am so let's go ahead and get this thing started it looks like there's some training going on up oh, there's Ahsoka we got Mace Windu, we got Yoda, and there's... All right on time. Oh, really? I thought I was late. That's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fast learner. I really wouldn't know. I, I love that dynamic when uh, Obi-Wan was saying she was a fast learner and he's like, I wouldn't know. That was him talking about how he's a slow learner during his battle with Dooku. Look, you want a real test? Name it. Okay. I'll make you an actual test, and then we'll see what you really learned. Hmm. You're right on time. I thought I was late. That's what I mean. Oh my goodness. Like teacher, like pupil. You need to remain calm. Think, feel the intention of the trooper who will fire first. You should be able to sense the moment before they even pull the trigger. I'm not gonna lie, it feels weird hearing Anakin say something like that. Remember, be calm. 
Oh, she got double tagged. This actually explains a lot, though. I will get to that later, but most of you probably already know what I'm referring to. Oh, wait, this must be a time skip. She's training on her own now. Oh, no, there he is. Let's hope all that training pays off. Oh, is this during Order 66? Yep. Wow, that was a heck of a time skip. Come on! Alright y'all, that was Star Wars Tales of the Jedi Episode 5, Practice Makes Perfect, and man oh man. It doesn't feel like that there was much in that episode, but for anybody that has seen the Clone Wars, that was a huge episode. Because when she was training with Rex and, um, you know, his troops, with the whole stun thing the point where I said you know where it was making a lot of sense the dots that was connecting for me is that when order 66 initially um, you know went down and Ahsoka was surrounded by all the clone troops but she was able to block all of their shots and that was exactly what I was connecting here even though they were doing it on stun here you know that was what got her able to basically that's what helped her to survive order 66 was that training right there and the fact that she kept doing it and you saw the parallels with it and then at the end when rex was saying i hope all this training pays off that was during order 66 in the clone war so even though there was a lot of time jumps on there and even though that was a very short episode even shorter than i think all the other episodes i've seen there was still a lot that was told with that and that is what I'm really enjoying about this series is all the story that they were able to tell and yet they were able to do it in such a short time. Now granted some of it does predicate on um, those of us um, having watched you know like the prequel trilogies or the Clone Wars to understand some of these references. Like I said because like in last episode if you had not seen Attack of the Clones, you would not understand the significance of Count Dooku being the one to erase Kamino from the Jedi Temple archives, or even the significance of um, Darth Maul, um, with Dooku working with Darth Maul and everything, and all that. And also, like with this, if you had not seen Clone Wars, you would not have understood the insane significance of Anakin having Ahsoka do her training with Rex and her troops. A, that helps establish their friendship, but then it also shows how she was able to survive the onslaught during Order 66 when they all were, they weren't trying to stun her this time, they were trying to actually kill her, but because of all that training and even the, some of the movements that she did, you could see some of similarities with that movements. So even though this was a very short episode, like I said, my timestamp was showing at 9 minutes and 51 seconds, but that was all that was needed to tell that story. And I tell you what, I am not looking forward to next week. The reason why I'm not looking forward to next week is because that means that that will be my last react to this show and it has been absolutely fantastic. I'm very curious to see what that last episode is going to be about. Is it going to be completely Ahsoka based? Is there going to be a mix between Ahsoka and Dooku? I don't know. I don't even know if I really care. I just know that I really enjoyed it and it's going to be a shame that it's over. But what I'm probably going to do is I will probably go through all of my streaming apps i'll probably look up a couple shows uh preferably shows that i yeah, haven't seen or haven't seen in a long time and i will probably uh put up a poll and uh see what you guys would like to have me watch next but uh right now i'm actually leaning very hard into watching um the new arnold schwarzenegger show foobar um i'll have to double check and see if that's something that my wife will want to join in on um if so then i'll make sure that uh 
she's in on these videos too um but uh like i said i'll have to figure out what show to watch next but um one thing that is for sure though is once ahsoka does come out um that is definitely going to be um uh, a reaction to that i i think if it's anything like kenobi it'll probably show on wednesdays so even though it's probably going to be close to a week because i want to stick to um probably i'll probably record my reactions the next day um because i do uh wednesdays i do live streams for my gaming channel so i'll probably record my reaction on tuesday actually you know what i'll probably have my ahsoka um reactions go on saturday like it all depends on what day uh the the show goes on um, Disney Plus. I'm used to it being Wednesday, so if it is Wednesdays, I'll probably go ahead and post those uh, reactions on Saturdays. But I'll let you know as the time gets closer on. That's uh, a bridge we don't need to cross quite yet. But like I said, so next week we got last episode of Star Wars Tales of the Jedi, and then I may uh, have a week off from the TV show. Uh, that way I can just figure out. Um, well, I mean, by that time, the poll will probably be done, but then I'll just have to record that reaction. But I'll get some TV shows together so we can do a poll and see what you guys would like to see me watch next. But uh, this has been a absolutely enjoyable series so far. Absolutely love it and uh, can't wait to get to the last episode. So uh, I will see you guys next week. Thank you guys for stopping by and I'll catch you all down the road.